guest is a writer on Saturday Night Live whose new stand-up special, John Mulaney, New in Town, airs on Comedy Central this Saturday at 10 p.m. Please welcome the very funny John Mulaney. Hi, how are you? Hello, nice to meet you. My name's John Mulaney. I hope you're doing well. I'm doing very well myself. Uh, I am about to be 30 years old, which is very exciting. But I was hoping that by now, thank you, I was hoping that by now I would look older. And I don't. I don't look older at all, I just look worse. That's what's happened. Like when I'm on the street now, nobody's ever like, hey, look at that man. They're just like, whoa, that tall child looks terrible. Get some rest, tall child. You can't keep burning the candle at both ends. I have a girlfriend now, and she's a woman, and she's great, and I love her very much, and our relationship is going well. So a few months ago, she said that it was time for her to meet my parents, because that is what people do when a relationship is going well. They meet each other's parents, and I have never understood that. I've never been with my girlfriend and thought, oh, babe, tonight is going great. But do you know what would make it perfect? <laughs> Charles and Ellen Mullaney. <laughs> yeah, let's get them in the mix. We've been going pretty hot and heavy lately. I think it's time we bring in two older Catholic people. <laughs> I live in New York City. It's a great place. Uh, and I was coming home the other night. I want to tell you about this. I was coming home, and in front of my building, on the street, I saw a wheelchair knocked over on its side with no one in it. That is such a bad thing to see. Something happened there. You hope it was a miracle. But probably not. Probably something worse than a miracle. New York is very safe, though. It's a very safe city because on most streets, they're filming Law & Order Special Victims Unit. They're always doing that. That's my favorite show on television. I love Law & Order SVU because on SVU, you can say the grossest, sickest things you've ever heard in your life. You can say anything on SVU. No, you can't say the F word, but people walk around on that show going like, looks like the victim has anal contusions. <laughs> looks like we found semen and fecal matter in the victim's ear canal. <laughs> Those are two real things that I heard on Law & Order Special Victims Unit at three o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> Both spoken by Ice-T. <laughs> Ice-T is a detective <laughs> with the Special Victims Unit. He handles New York's most sensitive cases. <laughs> I love Ice-T on SVU. He's awesome. And what I especially love about him is that he's been with the SVU, oh, about 11 years now, but he still treats every case like it's his first in terms of total confusion. <laughs> Like, they will be in the middle of an investigation, and Ice-T will just be like, yo, you telling me this dude gets off on little girls with pigtails? <laughs> like, yeah, Ice. He's a pedophile. You work in the sex crimes division. You're gonna have to get used to that. Oh, there was this one episode recently where the episode was about sex addiction. So they were talking about sex addicts. And there was a scene where the other detectives are trying to teach Ice-T what sex addiction is. And it takes a couple of minutes. <laughs> and finally, Ice-T gets it, and they cut to him in this close-up. And he goes, oh, I get it. You mean like when someone drinks too much? Or snorts cocaine? Or bets the house on the ponies? And I was like, yeah, man, you got it. And I was psyched that Ice-T understood and that they could move on with the investigation. But I could have watched another four hours of him just naming examples. <laughs> just that shot of Ice-T and him like, or like when someone smokes too many cigarettes. Or like when someone shops too much with credit cards. Or like when someone plays too many scratchy lotteries. Or like when someone eats too much chocolate cake. <laughs> or like when someone eats too much chocolate cake and then barfs it up. And he would just keep talking and it would slowly fade out and say executive producer Dick Wolf. That'd be my ideal episode. Thank you very much. I'm John Thanks.